For today's cruise news, we have an update on the 20 year old man that was recently sailing on board a Royal Caribbean cruise ship that in the middle of the night intentionally jumped out of a window plummeting 18 decks or floors into the open ocean after getting into an argument with his dad about being drunk on board. At this point in time, the 20 year old has not been seen since. His family is speaking out about the incident that took place, stating that they believe that he is still alive and they also believe that him jumping out of the window was not an attempt to end his own life and the reason why is probably going to shock a lot of you. We also have to go over a very disturbing story of a 26 year old former cruise ship dancer that has been arrested for being in possession of and sending out videos of underage people conducting adult acts. At this point in time he is currently facing 20 years in prison. So diving straight into this chaotic story of the man that jumped off of a cruise ship he has now been identified as 20 year old Le'Veon Parker from Northport Florida. Now just to briefly catch everybody up to speed Le'Veon Parker his brother and his father were sailing on board Royal Caribbean's Liberty of the Seas between the hours of 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. According to a man named Brian Sims, he saw the entire incident take place at approximately 3 a.m. There was Le'Veon Parker, his brother, him, and a couple other people that were in a hot tub on board Liberty of the Seas. When they got out of the hot tub, Le'Veon Parker and his brother ran into their dad and they got into a giant argument because apparently Le'Veon Parker and his brother were drunk and do keep in mind the drinking age 21, so they were drunk and underage on board Liberty of the Seas. During the argument, at some point in time, Le'Veon Parker decided that he was going to end the argument by jumping out of a window on the pool or hot tub deck into the open ocean. As you can imagine, naturally, when that incident took place, everybody was freaking out. There were people throwing life rings. According to the father, there was about 20 life rings that were thrown out, hoping that Le'Veon would take one of them. The staff on board Liberty of the Seas was also alerted of what had taken place. It took the ship about 20 minutes to finally come to a halt, deploy rescue efforts. On top of that, of course, the Coast Guard was naturally contacted and up until this point about a week later there was a very rigorous search and rescue effort taking place but has since been called off or at least suspended at this point in time over the past couple days the father that has now been identified as Francil Parker has been very outspoken about the incident he didn't deny anything that had taken place as far as the argument or his son jumping out of the window over by the hot tub however he is wondering how his son was able to get that drunk on board Liberty of the Seas and he's also saying that he does doesn't believe that his son, Le'Veon Parker, attempted to end his life. Why? Because he is a master or a skilled diver. Breaking these statements down, first of all, let's talk about the drinking. The dad is stating that he has no idea how the 20 year old ended up getting drunk on board Liberty of the Seas. Believe it or not, people that drink on land do tend to drink on a cruise ship. There are people out there with the drink package and as far as somebody being underage, there are plenty of ways that people are able to drink alcohol on board a cruise ship. One might be frowned upon Upon in which people sneak alcohol on board. They'll put it in different types of bottles and hoping that they're able to get it on without it being confiscated. There are people out there that have friends that are, let's say, 21 plus. If this man is 20 years old, he may have had somebody with him or made some friends on board that is drinking age that was able to procure and gather the alcohol from him. Believe it or not, I've even seen a situation where there were people that were clearly underage on board a cruise and they were looking around for basically half full or drinks that were left out on tables and stuff like this they would grab those drinks and drink them themselves it was absolutely disgusting but it definitely does happen my point is if you're on a cruise with somebody that is let's say 18 adult or near a drinking age you can have the assumption that if left unsupervised you don't know who they're with you don't know what they're doing they're probably going to drink and do keep in mind this is not the fault of the cruise line i've said it before and i'll say it again a cruise line is not a daycare it's not their job to watch every single pass passenger on board to make sure they are not doing stupid things. Illegal things, yes, but you can only monitor all of this to a certain extent. As far as the dad saying that there wasn't an attempt for his son to unalive himself, sure, there is some merit to that being that he is experienced with diving, so his mentality while jumping might have had a different outcome in his head. However, other than the fact that maybe there is a chance that he probably could have landed and fell 18 decks into the water without injuring himself, he is still in the open ocean. I don't know what the weather was like. There could have been 10 to 20 foot waves that night. You also got a cruise ship that has propellers down on the bottom, propulsion-like material that could have injured him to some degree or maybe even worse. 
Two other points to bring up here, since the dad, Francel, is saying that he believes his son is still alive because he is a master diver. First of all, it's been over a week since the authorities have been searching for him. I believe there's only like one other scenario where there was a passenger that fell off of a cruise ship and he ended up getting found alive. Crazy story, guys. Check into it if you haven't gotten the chance. You can Google it. But there's also a situation that this ship was on its last day of the cruise, meaning it was on its way back over to its home port over in Florida, meaning it could have potentially been in a heavily trafficked area there could have been a lot of ships a lot of boats nearby if there was a search and rescue going on in that area of course you have to calculate the currents and swells and all that all i'm saying is that wouldn't somebody have found him by now i'm not trying to be a debbie downer but it's been a week since a search and rescue has gone on normally when it comes to a search and rescue usually it is called off in between 48 to 72 hours however i am praying for the family i hope for the best and hopefully all of this works out but of course let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section below for our next story this is 26 year old Jamal Wade from Manhattan, New York. He has a lot of people having the conversation being brought up on whether cruise lines should do background checks for all of their employees, including dancers on board cruise ships. Now, this man was arrested, and this isn't the first time, because he was in possession of, well, let's say some videos of underage people doing very adult-like things, and he was sending it out to other people. At this point in time, this man is in custody. He is currently in and out of court. You have authorities that have seized his phone and looked at all his WhatsApp messages and apparently he has content with kids as young as two years old which is absolutely disgusting. Also according to authorities he's been arrested for a similar situation back in 2020 and they've also been able to dig up that he worked for cruise lines such as Royal Caribbean and NCL. Now, Jamal Wade is currently looking at 20 years in prison, and if all of this is actually factual and true, yes, put him under the jail, give him the maximum sentence, and let him be there for as long as possible. But yes, this is a real head-scratcher. Even as somebody that has worked for multiple cruise lines, I am wondering how somebody like this was able to work on board cruise ships. Everybody's asking about background checks. I can tell you straight up, while even when I worked on a cruise ship, we didn't technically get a background check done. There is... Some light checks that do take place, seeing as how we have to get work visas in order to work on board the cruise ships because we're traveling so many destinations. We also have our passport checked, and I would argue that cruise lines typically do go through the whole nine, or at least the governments that are involved with them that are able to give them the documents in order for those crew members to work on board cruise ships. So to see if this man was working on board a cruise ship is, is a little weird to me personally. Maybe it was due to the department in which he worked in. He was an entertainer on board, and typically he's on stage. However, for those of you that don't understand how it works working on board cruise ships, there are certain privileges that are allotted to people in different departments. I worked in entertainment and I was a dancer on board, so we were allowed to also have access to the guest areas, meaning we were allowed to be around all the guests, meaning we were allowed to also be around guests that were underage. Personally, I'd feel a little uncomfortable with that. I'm not blaming the cruise line in any way, shape, or form. However, I'm curious as to how that vetting process works as far as who is able to work on board a cruise ship and who is not. Anywho, that's what we got for today's news. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Know as usual, I love and appreciate every single one of you, and I'll see you later. Take it easy.